Where are you going? I'm going to do a tour of Aurélie's bedroom. Oh, nice. You want to join? Yes. <laughs> we need to talk. We need to talk. There's a ghost. We don't, we don't know. <laughs> Please talk to us. We don't see anybody in the woods. <laughs> A lot has changed again since we last spoke. Starting with our house, which is a forever evolving project. Rémi took about two weeks to renovate my daughter's bedroom and will show a little bit of what has been going on for us as well during our time off YouTube. So, here's the minimalist and small space bedroom for my daughter. The main storage space is under the bed, which is very practical. Here we have clothing, here a very big drawers for toys and shoes and all the things that are more bulky. Here we have some, another clothing drawer. They are pretty big, eh? Yeah, they basically are a whole wardrobe which is bigger than mine and yours. Yeah. <laughs> Fit into these two drawers and also this yeah, but this one is pretty empty. Yeah, it doesn't count. It's more like the towels and And pages. what is that? Uh, this is for the dirty laundry. And when this space is filled out, she has to put our dirty clothes in the washing machine so I can wash them. Oh, there's a new rule. Yeah, there's habits that comes with a tidy room. And we try to implement those habits within the design. <laughs> this room can double up as a guest bedroom when we have uh, like single guests. And the main feature of this room, which Aurélie was really, really excited about, is our desk drawer. So she can do homework and draw and do our little kid thing. And also this panel is removable there. And we have extra storage for camping equipments or winter gear during the summer. Oh, I cheat a little bit. I don't put flooring. Yeah. Now you yes, know. But it's a secret. Yeah. <laughs> but the, this floor is already like a reclaimed part of the house project we did in Saint-Simon. And can you tell me some reason why we decided to change her room? Yeah, because she was uh, growing up first and we, she had a, a higher bunk bed and it was getting a little small. But the main reason is that she really likes to hoard stuff. She's a hoarder. <laughs> <laughs> to collect things and her, her room was just getting like out of control full of stuff and it, it was getting smaller and smaller so we had to do something and Aurélie when she has a space to store things and she has good habits she she can she's a really clean kid actually so we try to encourage that what we are doing Noemi we are clearing up this awful mess <laughs> And, and then renovating my daughter's bedroom. It was her Christmas present. It's quite interesting what you can find in a nine-year-old bedroom. Oh, here we have a very old um, notebook where is written, I am a fruit and I'm my teacher's favorite fruit. What's your idea about the new room? Oh, I think it's gonna be much brighter because I want to paint all the walls Maybe white. And also we want to make a full bed for her. Yeah, probably like there. A bed. Done.
And yeah, so here under the desk, you have these uh, three little drawers that are for things that she used like on a daily basis. And yeah, she has a little library that is on, on those shelves. For now, there's still some space left if she gets to have more books or things that she wants to put on display, she can do it there. And I think one of her favorite feature other than the desk is the mirror at the <laughs> on the back of the door. The only thing left to do, it's a door. I think I will make a door, like a barn door. It's quick, simple and looks pretty good. So yeah, let's do it. After that, it's finished. She really likes to dress up and look at herself in the mirror and do like dance shows. So now she can be entertained. Yeah, and she can stop coming in her room. Yeah, she I was also always coming into our room to use uh, my mirror. So it was a bit annoying, especially in the early morning. <laughs> this is a 49 square foot uh, room. Yeah. What do you think about that? It's very small for a kid bedroom, but actually I think it's very functional now and it feels like she have uh, quite a bit of room to play, which is good. My, our solution was always to try to optimize the space that we already have. And I think you did a very good job with this bedroom. Thank you. Yeah, it was a great gift, Remy. Yeah, thank you. There's plenty of engineering behind it. Your plan is like a square with two measurements. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we need to have a bedroom as tidy as this one now. Never thought I would say that. Leaving all my worries, I prepare for something new. Whatever it was that held me back, I'm sure it wasn't true. Holding on too long, an unresolved questions hold you down. What could have been? A friendly smile has turned into a frown I'm moving on Changes around me on and on. I feel I must. Whatever happened to me happened for my highest good. I read that in so many books now. We need to talk. We need to talk. There's a ghost. <laughs> no. <laughs> No ghost, no. just Remy. <laughs> what do we need to talk about, Remy? We need to talk about the future of this channel. Yes. You probably noticed that we've been posting a lot less than we used to. And there's a very good reason for that. It's because for the past month and a half, I would say, we questioned if we would keep making these weekly videos for multiple reasons. But one that we find that it, uh, as taking a toll over us is like the constant pressure to produce so much for to uh, please the algorithm and also something we don't want to be a slave to. There's one thing that is really important for us in our life and I, I mean in all the aspect on, of our life, it's the quality of the thing that we do. We love putting love and time to mm. it and yeah. it come a time that Making video is the same thing. Yeah. But we have the feeling that the algorithm of YouTube today... They don't show our videos a lot. And the reason being that we don't play out all the rules that are the best for the algorithm. Like we don't want to, to put the clickbait uh, titles. We know that the attention span of people nowadays is getting shorter and shorter because we always like scroll on our phones and spend a lot of time on the screens and we are also a part of that you know we we are also YouTube consumers mm -hmm. <laughs> and 
we know that it's a big thing to keep the attention of people. It's very difficult when you do a video to try to make it interesting, like every second of it. It has to have something like happening so people don't just drift away and find it boring actually. But it's a big problem because we don't find beauty anymore in just like the calm. It needs to be fast paced and yeah, like... and almost aggressive. And we don't fit into that. We don't have that personality. We are both like very calm people. Mainly our lifestyle is all about slowing down and enjoying the simple things and we don't fit into the niche of like super high rhythmic videos and we don't want to make those. No, we think that our video has a very good value to calm people, to inspire them to do like new thing and thing that they are sca scared of. We need to find a solution I think and we need your help for that. Yeah, and one very basic thing that you can do to help us out is if you like the content that we make, you can click the thumbs up, you can subscribe, and also you can share our videos with your network, basically. It's very organic and simple, but there's n no other solution for us to be able to spread our message across, because now we we are very value the people that follows us, and I think we have like the beginning of a small community here, and it's really nice. But I think we have something interesting to share the world and we would like more people to be able to see what we do. Yeah, so if you have questions, you can come and please talk to us. Tell us what you want to see. Tell us what you love to see. Tell us everything. Yeah. And yeah, we will adapt for you. Yeah, even what you don't like. Like, yeah. of course, there, there's always like a, a way to say things, but engage with us. We really want to have a conversation. And the more you engage with our content, the more it gets to be seen. Yeah, if you want to help us, that's the best way. We even thought about like starting a Patreon page. I don't know if that, that is something that could be interesting to you. Please let us know again. But uh, we would love to share a bit more of the behind the scenes of our lifestyle because there's there's a lot of things that we don't get to show on camera that I think is quite interesting. And yeah. also just like more of the art I do, more more of your work as well. We could be like maybe a bit more private in a space like that. And I don't know. If you like to know some part of our life more in depth, tell us what are those parts. I think one of our, our main strength and also our main weakness as YouTubers is that we like a lot of different things and we try to like show you like, a bigger picture of what we do like we do sometimes a bit of cooking uh, we are doing projects woodworking also just like our homesteading just the nature around you uh, around us that we try to to capture as well like there's a lot of different components to our videos and it would also very help us if you would like leave a comment and say what what do you like to see do you prefer when we do like vlog style video more like um more cinematic with a lot of the nature shot our dogs <laughs> what do yeah, you like <laughs> because actually we can do youtube channel about everything we can do a youtube channel about mm -hmm. uh, my woodworking we can do a youtube channel about the art of noemi about the homesteading about yeah just our feeling just i mean it's hard to to find the balance to to interest the, the people we really struggle about that to find a balance i think to know yeah. what to show because there's so much thing to show it's mm -hmm. really hard to know what you want to see actually if it's what you actually like about our channel that we show you a lot of different things it's okay as well you can tell us that with your comments and with like the overall interaction that we get we will try to adjust a little bit the channel so it can be more interesting to you and also more maybe a bit more curated if that makes sense yeah and maybe it's in the patreon section that we can go more in deep in the woodworking the art and uh, yeah. i mean yeah yeah. We are very excited to know what you're going to, to say about that. When you watch YouTube, it's very easy to think that you have no influence or power about the content that you watch. But actually, you have so much influence. You are the consumer. Everybody wants to make video for you. So please talk to us and we will listen. Every time you, you click on a video for any reason, it gives a vote for that video. Yeah. Uh, so e every little behavior that you have on this platform has a big impact on us. Yeah, because it's really hard to see, but making video like we do take a lot of time. 
I mean, maybe we spend 30 hours a week making video. Yeah, and that is on top of our job. We want to live a good life, so so we need to work a little bit. And with the YouTube channel, it takes a lot of our time. And it's hard to keep a good balance. And it's why so much YouTube creator deal with uh, burnout, because it's really hard. And I think there's a lot of value in sharing your experience and what you come to learn in life with an audience and yeah. we both uh, want to continue like we we love it but we don't want to do it at the expense of our health and our lifestyle we want to uh, stay true to our core value that's also very important to yeah, us yeah exactly yeah it's true and the reason why we start a youtube channel at first it's to inspire people mm -hmm. because we live a lifestyle that we can say different for most people yeah. in the world right now. And I consider that we live pretty comfortably. Yeah. So it's directly that reason why we are doing this is to inspire you. We want to put a seed in your head and say that, oh, maybe I can do that. Or, oh, maybe uh, it's easier to just live a simple way, a smaller house, or I don't know, I don't know, please tell us. Yeah, we want to know like what part of our lifestyle that inspires you the most, and we can focus on that as well, because I know like maybe it can be overwhelming to just change everything all at once, and that's not the goal of our videos, it's more to inspire small changes that, that leads to a whole lifestyle change in the end because people need to change. That's a reality right now. We cannot continue to live with this um, over-consuming habits that are building our society right now, at least in the Western world. Like, we all know it. Like, we all know that our environment is really polluted right now. And we try to just, like, show people that it's doable to live in a more gentler way on ourselves and on, on others and also on the whole environment. I think it's the biggest mission that we have as creator and content creator and also as a artist and artisan. We, we want to, to inspire you just to see that it's possible. Yeah, because we do it. That's not like fake or stage or anything. That's our real house, our real life, our real <laughs> everyday life that you're a part of. Uh, yeah, it's a bit taboo to think about, like, ask for help, financial help yeah. uh, in life. But And we, we don't aim to gain a big income from this. We just want to earn enough so it can pay for equipment, basically. And, mm. like, just just support us a little bit. That is why we need our your help. And you don't have to give us, like, any anything. You just have to share what we do, basically. Yeah, and give us idea. Write to us. We will leave an email address in the description. So if you don't want to leave a public comment, it's it's right too. We yeah. will no want to know everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We want to know you, like you know us now, but we, we want to know you a bit more personally as well. Like what type of people are, are watching our channel? Who are you? Yeah. And why do you watch? Whatever is the reason, we want to know. <laughs> Please talk to us, we don't see anybody in the woods. We don't have any social interaction. No. <laughs> That's not true. Yeah, we, we have only friends. talk to our dog. I don't know if it's a, a good thing or not, but we we are doing both part of the talking with the dogs. We talk f to us and we make the voice that they answer back. Thank you so much for um, taking get that time to listen and watch our videos we really appreciate like every single one of you that leaves a comment and that that are there to watch till the end it also means a lot yeah and thank you for your your help i'm really excited to read what you have to say about the content and also i'm really excited for the future see you soon <laughs> yeah i wish you a lovely day and just a lovely life in general <laughs> and see you very soon bye, bye.